Dr. Murphy and I'm working at the Institute of Metabolic Science in Cambridge alongside the Artificial Pancreas team, which is led by Dr. Rowan Hope Walker. So that we have a number of Diabetes UK funded um, research programmes at the moment. The one that I'm leading on is the, is the Closed Loop in Pregnancy project and my, my colleagues are also doing a similar, very similar study but in adults who are not pregnant. So during pregnancy, women are particularly motivated to try and get the best possible blood sugar control to optimise the health of their infants and the babies. And we know that across the UK that most women with diabetes will actually have a healthy outcome to their pregnancies, but a lot of the babies, one in two of them, are born large for gestational age. And those babies themselves have an increased risk of developing diabetes in later life. So if we could develop better tools to allow women to get better blood sugar control, we would hope eventually to be able to reduce the number of babies born large for gestational age and then to reduce the incidence of diabetes in the next generation. By having a continuous glucose sensor and an insulin pump connected to a computer in real time and the computer will advise the patient, will advise the insulin pump how much insulin to give the moment overnight and then hopefully in the future across 24 hours per day. The research is going very well at the moment. The pregnancy project is the first study that we're aware of in the world to look at closed loop systems in pregnancy and we're doing a very last couple of studies over the next week. So we hope to have data from women in pregnancy both in early pregnancy and in late pregnancy. Um, and we're optimistic that the information at the moment we hope we can show that we can get near to perfect blood sugar control through the night for these women and we hope the extra information from this study will help us improve blood sugar control after meals. So at the moment it's a cause of major concern for women if, the if they're unable to achieve the best possible blood sugar control and we know that the tools we have currently are just inadequate, they're not good enough and our, both we and our patients have expectations of perfect blood sugar control and currently that's not achievable. We're not suggesting that the closed loop systems will achieve perfect control overnight but I think what they, we compare them a little bit to mobile phones so when they were first introduced they were bulky and cumbersome and then with time they've become less expensive and much more streamlined, streamlined. And we see the progress of the artificial pancreas work being very similar to that, making small steps probably initially to normalise blood sugar control overnight and then ultimately improving control after meals as well. So I think we are hoping to make step by step progress but can anticipate that we should have a product available to patients really within the next three to five years and we are aiming for quite optimistic improvements in blood glucose control for a majority of patients, not just those who are interested in technology or currently wearing a pump, but to make the benefits of pump therapy available to a wider range of patients really within the next five to ten years. I really just thank you very much to the supporters of Diabetes UK. These are expensive studies and they require a large team of skilled staff, a lot of dedication. Most of the studies run for 24 hours, so there's a large team of nurses involved as well. And without the funding from Diabetes UK, we would not be making important progress in these studies, so thank you.